here and I know that I haven't done a video in so long and this is really kind of random, I hadn't planned it out or anything but basically I was just about to dye my hair, like do it myself so I thought I would film it, let you guys see what I'm doing and hopefully it will go okay so um, if you didn't know I've moved house, well I've moved flat so I'm in a totally different location um, this is my bathroom so yeah, if it's like all new then that's why well, the extractor fan is on but I just realised I can't turn it off because I can't reach it so it's just gonna have to like blur out and I hope you can't hear it. So I'm using, so first of all, I'll tell you what colour I'm going. I am going this dark colour here, you can see it. Um, my hair right now is probably like a light medium brown and if you can see at the ends, it is kind of caramelly blonde from where it was blonde like two years ago. Um, well, no, just over a year ago it was blonde. Um, and then I went back to this, but the blonde never really came out completely. This is the Olio by Garnier, and it's in soft black 3.9. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be alright. I haven't dyed my hair myself in so long. I used to do it all the time. And then I just started going to the hairdressers and getting it done there, because it was just a lot easier. And I felt like, you know, student, student life, can't afford to be going to the hairdressers. I just bought this, picked this up. It was around £5, so it's really, really good. And let's hope I can remember how to dye my hair. The first thing it says to do is to place an old or dark coloured towel around your shoulders. So I've got one here. I'm just going to put this around my shoulders. I mean, to be honest, I'm wearing a very, uh, not a very old top, I'm wearing a top that I'll never need to wear again. So I'm not too bothered about getting this top dirty. I've also got like old leggings on as well, I don't really care about getting dirty. Obviously the first step to dye your hair, do not wear anything that you don't mind getting stained. Push the bottle into the back of the box and keep it up tight. So what we have here is this kind of bottle thing. And so I guess we'll take everything out. I'm trying to do this quickly because my pizza is coming at 8 and it's hot. So so what it says to do is to push this in there, I think, I'm not entirely sure. This is really confusing. Push the bottle into the back of the box to keep it up tight, upright. Why? Ah! I think I broke it. I think it just helped me like, I get it. Okay, so basically it's just help it keep it steady. That's fine, thank you. I wanted to try and show you um, what I'm doing down here because I'm kind of doing it in the sink, but I literally can't balance my camera and I haven't got my tripod set up. So I'm not gonna be able to show you completely, but I will try and like explain if that makes sense. Pour this and this into that pot I just showed you a minute ago. Wait, I think. When I used to do it before, um, sometimes it would really sting my hair. But I have absolutely no idea if I was allergic to hair or not. And I've never done like a skin test. If you can hear that, it's not me farting, it's um, me squeezing the content out. But yeah, I just, I don't really know if I'm allergic to it or not. Sometimes it was absolutely fine, but sometimes my scalp would literally burn. Close the lid and up it and shake it. I love this bit. So this is the lid, and I have to just shake it. When the first time I dyed my hair, I was like 13 years old, and I didn't tell my mum, she'd gone out. I was at home, and I decided I was going to dye my hair. I bought this hair dye, I decided I was just going to do it. It was red, I really wanted to do it. I was being a, rebe a rebellious person, a rebellious teenager. And I got red hair dye everywhere, like all down the banisters, all in the bathroom, everywhere. My mum was so mad, like she wouldn't ever let me forget that. See, what I really need is a comb and I don't have one. I'm gonna steal my boyfriend's comb because, <laughs> you know, he has a comb and I don't. I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna section my hair off. Yes. make this job a little easier. I honestly don't really know how, remember how to do this and I don't think the instructions they use are very clear. So this is kind of going to be a 
a little bit of a mystery, but hopefully we'll do it. Oh shit, I need to put the gloves on. But basically, the gist of it is, smudge it all in. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting right into the roots. To be honest, if you're going like a completely different colour kind of from your hair, it's probably more important to make sure you get every little strand. But because I'm not really going much different, it, hopefully it'll be different, hopefully you'll be able to notice it. Um, but because I'm not going like amazingly different, I'm not going to be too anal about it. I'm going to look so attractive. So now I feel like I've got to all of my roots. I'm going to try and use all the bottle up. I'm just now spreading it on the ends of my hair. This one doesn't sting actually, which is good. But I think there's no peroxide in this one, so it doesn't smell that bad either. Some of them smell awful. I'm not going to throw away the glass because I still need to use it after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them gently down here. I've got towels down here, so it's alright. Now, this is the part where I need to be extra, extra careful because now I have to wait half an hour for this to kind of just like sit in. I'm going to have to wait more than half an hour. I'm going to have to wait like 15 minutes, um, which is quite a long time just because there's other stuff that I have to do now. Um, so let's see how that goes. I might end up with really, really dark hair. Yeah, I will see you then. So it's been about... 50 minutes to an hour now and so far it looks like the colour's set in really well. I don't know how much you can tell in this light. Um, it has sting, stung a little bit but it's not been as bad as it hasn't. Okay, next on the instructions it says that I need to massage my hair thoroughly with the glass. So, I'm going to put the gloves. I think I'm going to put the gloves back on. I don't know why this keeps going out of focus. Oh. Alright. Just gonna massage it all in again. And now it says, oh gosh, look at my hair now. Um, it says to put a little bit of water on and then massage it again and then just rinse it again. So I'm gonna do that off camera obviously and I will come back when it's all wet and yeah when it's just like done this thing. Hey back again so I've washed rinsed out my hair till the water run clear and I can definitely see a difference like it's so black and like the roots are totally black and it's really hard to get used to and she can't my makeup looks much as well so I'm sorry about that. Okay so um ooh. So now it's all on to the hair care. And if I've learned anything from dyeing my hair myself for all these years, is that you really want to treat it well after you dyed it because it is in a very damaged state. I've literally just run my tangle teaser through it and already I've got quite a lot of hair coming out, which shows that it isn't like in the best condition right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the actual conditioner that they provide, which is the after colour care. Um, I think it's like an almond and hazelnut 
something or other. Um, it's always good to use what they give you, you may as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally put it in. I'll do it now. May as well do it on camera. So I'm just going to run it through my hair like this. It's very... It's a very conditionary, like, effect. Yeah. Now obviously you can't fix everything in one night. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take months of rehabilitation. But start as we mean to go on. And now I'm just gonna go and rinse again. Back again, so I've done that, put that through my hair, and I've still got quite a lot of the tube left, so I can use some more next time as well. But right now I'm gonna be using Mark's Hill Miraculous two minute mask. But I'm not going to leave it for two minutes, I'm going to leave it in for at least five minutes. So let's put this on. I've used this once before and it's really nice. So like I said, I'm going to leave this in for like at least five minutes now and come back and rinse it out again. Hello, I'm back again. Crazy hair. Uh, I put the mask in. I'm going to sit back a bit. I put the mask in. And now I'm just going to brush through my hair. Like that. And just as the last kind of thing before I dry it, I'm going to put this Moroccan Argan oil in. been this out before so it is kind of strange it's literally black i feel kind of emo i'm not sure if i like it i mean i do like it but it takes some used to it takes some getting used to do you know what i like it feels really healthy i don't think i've ever dyed my hair and have it feel this nice and healthy afterwards so that's really good to see okay. this is the butt yeah, I, I'm really happy with how it's come up. Um, it was really easy to do, I didn't make very much mess, and the colour is, is really worked. So I hope it suits me. What do you think? Let me know what you think, if it suits me or not. Hopefully it does. Um, yeah, let's rock this new dark colour. And I think that's about it for today. I'm going to be filming like more videos try and get back into the swing of things because I really do enjoy it and I don't want to let go of it so yeah I'll be back with more videos coming your way so I hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe everything um yeah your feedback means a lot to me so yeah I hope you have a really good day and I will see you in my next video bye guys